Hey there, young explorers of the math world. Ready to dive into cool math challenges? Dive right into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for some exciting math challenges. And if you're ready for the fun, give us a thumbs up and subscribe right away. Are you ready? So, let's go. Question one, four times nine equals what? So the answer is four times nine is 36. To calculate, we have four groups with nine balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 36 balls. Question two, three times seven equals what? So, the answer is, 3 times 7 is 21. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 21 balls. Question 3. 8 times 6 equals what? So the answer is 8 times 6 is 48. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 6 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question 4. 8 times 5 equals what? So the answer is, 8 times 5 is 40. To calculate, we have 8 groups, with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 5. 9 times 3 equals what? So, the answer is, 9 times 3 is 27. To calculate, we have 9 groups, with 3 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 27 balls. Question 6. 9 times 7 equals what? So, the answer is, 9 times 7 is 63. To calculate, we have 9 groups, with 7 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 63 balls. Question 7. 8 times 5 equals what? So the answer is, 8 times 5 is 40. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 8. 4 times 5 equals what?
So the answer is 4 times 5 is 20. To calculate, we have four groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 20 balls. Question nine. Two times four equals what? So the answer is two times four is eight. To calculate, we have two groups with four balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Eight balls. Question 10. Nine times six equals what? So the answer is nine times six is 54. To calculate, we have nine groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have? For 54 balls. Question 11. Seven times six equals what? So the answer is seven times six is 42. To calculate, we have seven groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question 12. Six times four equals what? So the answer is six times four is 24. To calculate, we have six groups with four balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 13. Four times three equals what? So the answer is four times three is 12. To calculate, we have four groups with three balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 14. Four times nine equals what? So the answer is four times nine is 36. To calculate, we have four groups with nine balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 36 balls. Question 15. Six times three equals what? So the answer is six times three is 18. To calculate, we have six groups with three balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 16, 
2 times 2 equals what? So the answer is 2 times 2 is 4. To calculate, we have two groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Four balls. Question 17. 4 times 8 equals what? So, the answer is 4 times 8 is 32. To calculate, we have 4 groups with 8 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 32 balls. Question 18. 6 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 6 times 9 is 54. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 54 balls. Question 19. 6 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 6 times 3 is 18. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 20. 3 times 2 equals what? So the answer is 3 times 2 is 6. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 2 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 6 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.